Where's our volunteer? We just, where's our volunteer? <laughs> Only kidding, big breath. There's no volunteers here today, not yet anyway. Of course, our garden hose represents the major channel in our body. Now, you guys as nurses know more than anyone that the major channel in our body runs from up here in the north, right through the body, right through the house, out the back door in the south. Keep this little baby clear and open. We go a long way to staying healthy and well. Ever seen a happy constipated person? <laughs> Not often. In the Eastern cultures, they don't laugh so much about that. Do you know why? Because they understand our bodies like an energy flow. And the energy from here is designed to flow down. It's designed to take all the waste and the impurities out of the body. If we get a blockage in this area, they say it's like a tennis ball that hits the ground and instead comes back up and the energy comes up and starts to interfere with all our vital internal organs, heart, liver, spleen, kidneys. In the Eastern cultures, they say blocked energy flow has a lot to do with a lot of our Western illnesses, irritable bowel syndromes, bowel problems, constipation, even some bowel cancers, because the body has to flow. Now, it's interesting. We go to a conference, or it's our birthday, Western culture, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. We go out to a restaurant, a restaurant, Western type restaurant, <laughs> Western. And our little digestive fire's putting along. Bloody old Mary, keep me up this late at night. Really wants to go to sleep. And in a Western type restaurant, what does a waiter or waitress bring around and put on the middle of your table before you're about to have dinner? A jug of water. And what's often in the water in a Western type restaurant? Ice. Ice cold water, fire in the middle room. First thing we do, put the fire out. Water, best thing we just heat. Cold. So a nice cup of ice cold water on our little digestive fire, put that sucker right out of business. So even if we eat good quality food, nothing to digest it with, doesn't get processed properly, won't give you energy and vitality, won't build up healthy tissues that don't get so diseased as you age, your body won't process it into a form that your body can recognise as a waste product, so you tend to store it over the years, gets into the joints. Interesting. What happens if we put a garden hose in a jug of ice cold water? I know it's after lunch. <laughs> gets cold. And when it gets cold, it gets all hard and stiff, and any gunk on the inside of the hose gets stuck to the side of the hose. Weeks go by, months go by, years go by, go to turn the tap on, nothing happening. Interesting. The next night you go out with some other friends and they say, where do you want to go? And you say, oh, we'll just go down to the local Chinese restaurant, Malaysian restaurant, Indian restaurant. What do they put on the middle of your table before you're about to have dinner? Tea, warm tea, ginger tea, lemon tea, green tea. What happens if we put a garden hose in a cup of warm or hot water? Expands, exactly, because it gets all warm, becomes all malleable and pliable. Any gunk on the inside of the hose gets softened down. Melt it down, turn the tap on. <laughs> My special sound effects. <laughs> if you have that problem when you go to the toilet, just let me know, you're in serious trouble. You need to see a nurse. <laughs> Traditional cultures who for thousands of years have understood how our bodies designed to work for optimal health and well-being tell us there's something we do habitually in our Western cultures many, many of us, year after year, that is absolutely disastrous for many areas of our health. From joint pain and arthritis, to constipation, to putting on weight, not being able to get it off, to poor circulation, a number of number of problems have a lot to do with our Western cultural habit of eating ice-cold drinks. <laughs>